Hello buddy, so welcome back, it's Anne-Sophie. Today we're gonna take a look at the Motorola Moto G53. This is the package the phone comes in. It's a plastic-free packaging. It looks really nice. And when we open it, this is what we see. So we have the phone here, and then we have a cable, a plug for the wall, and um, more information in here. If we take the phone out of the foil, then this is what it looks like, just plain black from the front. And then this is what it looks like from the back. It has like a blue-ish shine to it. it. It looks really nice. This is the camera. And now we're gonna go ahead and set it up together. So this is the star, we got welcomed and then we can select our language. Um, you can make emergency calls here and set vision settings here. I'm gonna click on start. And now we can connect to a mobile network. So if you have a SIM card, insert it now. We do have a SIM card, but we also do have a separate video for that. And for now, we're gonna skip that part. So now we can connect to our Wi-Fi. You want to do that to like download apps um, and well, use the internet. Um, so I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi now. So if you click on show password, it will show you your password. Um, so you can check if you put it all incorrect. Okay, getting our phone ready. This may take a few minutes. That didn't take too long. And now we're at privacy and software updates. Motorola collects and reports usage information to keep your software up to date, provide personalized support and improve products and services. Data collect will be transferred to Motorola service in the USA. You can change your privacy preferences anytime by going to settings, privacy and Motorola privacy. So you can now decide to enable or disable these. Just click on it and then they're disabled. So that's up to you. You can say help improve Motorola product, enhance device support and smart updates. Um, you can read through the Motorola privacy policy here. And if you're done customizing this, then you can click on accept and continue. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts, and more from an old device to your new device. Um, if you click on next, the phone will show you your next steps. So like get a cable, get your old device, and then like transfer the data. Um, I'm gonna say don't copy now because first of all, I don't have an old device that I want to transfer um, apps and data from. And also it's nice to like start new sometimes without any old data and stuff. So I'm gonna say don't copy. Now we can sign into our Google account. If you don't have a Google account yet, you can go ahead and create an account. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email address. Now I need to enter my password. So after putting in my password, we are coming to the Google Terms of Service, the Google Play Terms of Service and the privacy policy. Um, we publish the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services by clicking I agree you agree to these terms you are also agreeing to the Google Play terms of service to enable discovery and management of apps and remember the Google privacy policy describes how Google handles information generated as you use Google services you can always visit your Google account to take a privacy check up or to adjust your privacy controls. So you can now say don't add this account now or I agree. If you click on I agree, if you don't agree, you cannot add this account. And if you ever want to like add a Google account, you need to agree to this anyways. So, um, well, up to you. I'm going to say I agree now. Now we have Google services. Tap to learn more about each service, such as how to turn it on and off later. Data will be used according to Google's privacy policy. Use basic device backup. Um, you can enable and disable these. Read more. Um, use location. If you turn that off, the allow scanning will turn off automatically with it. Um, only if this is enabled, you can 
disable or enable this by itself. Um, set usage and diagnostic data. So you can now go ahead and enable and disable these as you like and then click on accept. Now you can choose your search engine. The search engine you choose will be set as default in a search box on your home screen and in Chrome, the app will be installed from Play. You can install other search apps and reconfigure your home screen and Chrome at any time. So you can now scroll through the suggestions here and if you click on the little arrows then you'll get more information about the one and Ecosia for example plan trees and protect your privacy as you search. That sounds good and we'll go with that for now we click on next now the phone says to set a pin um we have a separate video for that as well so we're gonna skip that one yes and now we can continue our setup or leave and get a reminder later continue to have your device fully configured with google services and more or leave now and get a reminder we say leave and get a reminder. Stay in, join millions of Motorola fans who receive exclusive information about product launches, events, tips, software updates, and much more. Um, not now, not now. And that's not all. By registering my email, I agree to receive exclusive information about product launches, events, tips, beta tests, software updates, and much more. No, not now. Not now. Then we can choose our navigation style. So we can say we want the buttons or the gestures. Um, the gestures is just swiping up and down and back and forth. Um, reminds me a bit of the iPhone. I'm gonna say I will go with the buttons and then say next. And then this is our home screen ready to go. Explore your device, maybe later. So this is our home screen now where you can go ahead and customize it more. And then that's all about the first and initial setup of the Motorola Medu. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe and hope to see you next time. Bye.